just few minutes back, I asked him the question. Can we be the screen board, springboard of success? How can we do that if we are in the development sector and are stuck at the mid career level? You know, the development sector is pretty slow. The promotion chances are very less, but still there is a scope to be very significant in the de development sector because there are lot many, it is very easy to outline the milestones and achieve your milestones if you are very clear about your uh, goals, milestones that you would be achieving. It's very easy. So can we take that chance and bring ourselves to achieve significance in the career space which we are not able to achieve otherwise? There is no formula and there is nothing uh, in this uh, of course, there are some management uh, principles out there. But apart from that, there is no very uh, outlined principles of how to navigate the non-recognition, non-rewarding nature of the development sector. I am Samgeeta and I am the founder member of Dignity Career Alliance. And uh, I have this vision, mission statement, I can say, of guiding 100,000 mid-career professionals to, be, to achieve significance using something I call as yo-yo ritual and um, thereby my vision statement is to happy professionals will contribute towards achieving a calmer, cooler and greener globe. So, Mm. Let us let us begin what we want to do. First of all, this is a thankless kind of scenario that we get into. But there are three things that we need to keep in mind. One is to <clears throat> know that uh, the significance part. <clears throat> significance and then the other things follow exclusivity and appreciation that is what we are uh, looking for but where we can actually have control is on uh, how to work on achieving significance so i'll tell the story today what has happened i was visiting my field office field offices which i normally visit and uh, I, the first of all, I found a girl who is uh, in the office state and this is in microfinance sector, one of the sector which is under the development sector as you know. Microfinance is, the aim of microfinance is to achieve financial inclusion. And how we do is we actually single out women customers who are into some kind of business and help them to grow their business. But the staff that we have for that purpose are only the males. Now, we have been looking for the ways and means how to employ a women professional in this space. It's very risky to engage them in the field level because their security is an issue. When women dealing with money, they have greater chance of insecurity. They have greater chance of danger when they are traveling. And each field officer is supposed to travel 25 kilometers radius. Now, obviously, in this particular today, at this particular moment, we haven't been able to crack his formula to give our women professionals a scope to compete in this way. What do we do then? So today I found some solution. It is about a girl who is sitting at the office. She doesn't have to carry the money and she doesn't have to travel. 
but she can interact with the women clients who come to the office they come in groups to orient them and uh, tell more about how they should be utilizing their own processes and creating a bonding between the process and uh, the whole operations and of course the clients and if she continues for one year maybe i am i was so very enthusiastic to find a solution was like i'm just going on and on today i have told it to so many people and she she is if she continues for one year then she will be given a promotion Wherein she can mentor three to four field officers. Those field officers who carry money and go to the field, and uh, and that is how her roadmap is set. Right. So this was a, an initial solution. We we can figure out. I we have women in the office, like dealing with the HR, dealing with the back office work. That is what all they do. Back office work, they are very good at. They are not going to fail. So can we, in the even in the back office space, can we create opportunities for these women? And if, and I told told the lady, doing that, how to stand out. See, I told her just one thing that the women who are taking loans. should be investing in their own business rather than investing in their husband's business it is a family business i understand but women being responsible for business would have been a far nicer uh, preposition than women just uh, investing in their husband's business wherein they are not going to have any respect i think so so i gave some a little mission statement to this girl to work on that and i was so uh, enthusiastic today that uh, i also asked the field officers as to what their goals are what do they want to achieve this is the work whatever work they have been assigned that is very routine and they have to do that because they are in that field and their job is very specific i told them the example of this girl and then i saw the passbook of few of the women where in one of the women's passbook actually that was out of six women in the group there were only one passbook and one lady was carrying that passbook and maybe because it was in her place that we were conducting the meeting and she she didn't know why rupees 126 was being deducted <clears throat> from her passbook every now and then she thought it was the gas cylinder but gas cylinder subsidy comes to the book rather than getting deducted so she didn't know and when i told her so she was shocked about 10 entries of rupees 126 deduction has already happened in the last say 6 months or so and she didn't have any idea nobody has seen her passbook not even her husband she has taken out money for many things at home but nobody bothered about how much she saved why i am saying this story is this can be a mission for me for those field officers to give clarity about their work these women their work their business how they can build savings how they can go to the next level in investing and building their own credit worthiness that is what that is the business we are all in but unless we take it as a mission that is not happening and so suppose somebody does this for one year two year consistent consistently with a focus of empowering these ladies i also asked 
during our discussion uh, to the ladies. How many of them have even a pillow in, her, in their names? They are working so hard. They are earning, they are setting up their business, they are supporting the family in so many ways. They, but what do they have for themselves as people? That is why I call dignity is a big thing in the way women conduct their life. It is applicable to all the professionals, but specifically in this context, I'd like to discuss that about having dignity at work. Unless we have that, the mission statement is half-hearted. And if we are doing this, then we will definitely have this distinction, this differentiation of doing the same work in a very different way. We will have our milestones. We will know where we are going. We, have, we will have that satisfaction, fulfillment of contributing very significantly to a, to a very big agenda like financial inclusion. That will bring significance, right? And if that brings significance, because you are not compromising with your value, your mission at any moment of time, you don't have to. And that is one way of creating significance in development sector. Once that is created, appreciation is bound to follow. You are an exclusive person because of that differentiator. Don't you think so? If this helps you and I would like you to come back to me to find what is that unique point that you are working on. Would you like to find out that uniqueness for yourself? If so, please comment below this Facebook video. And also, if you are watching in YouTube, do please comment below and ask me questions. That will help me building a specific solution for your particular case. Thank you for watching.